Hello, sports fans and football fans, and especially XFL fans. Now, by now, there should be some XFL fans out there, because let me tell you what. We had some exciting games this past week. Uh, pretty much all the games were close, or at least relatively close. Two of them, the first two games of the XFL season, went into overtime and were decided in overtime. And the Defenders game, again, was decided, I believe, by one point. So that's where we are. It's an exciting league. Now, you know, obviously there's going to be mistakes you're not going to see in the real NFL. The real NFL guys catch balls that you think they have no business catching. And in the XFL, they will drop the balls. But, you know, it's a level playing field. The level of talent is relative. And so the games are pretty exciting. How exciting, you ask? Well, so far, there have been 32 XFL games played in total across every week. 32 XFL football games have been played. Uh, and in those games, eight have been decided by two points or less. That's 25% of the games that have been played have been decided by two points or less. And 67% of them well, 66, almost 67, have been decided by less than one score. So the teams that lost were within one score of tying the game. So that's pretty exciting stuff. You're not going to see that in the NFL. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's get some more fans here. Love the XFL. So um, we also had two teams eliminated from the playoffs this week, and we will look at the standings. And we had two teams that locked up playoff berths this week. And like I said, we'll look at the standings. So um, as you may recall, if you watched last week's video, I came into the week 21-7 uh, and seven on the year in my picks. And guess what? This week I was 3-1, and one, and guess what game I got wrong? The Defenders! I picked them to lose. But, you know, I figured they were playing the Sea Dragons for the second time. And, uh, you know, the old adage, you, it's hard to beat a team twice in the same season or multiple times in the same season. Well, the Defenders said, no, that's really not a problem. So they did win the game, and I did get that pick wrong. But I got the other three right. I was 3-1. and one, on the week and that puts me on the year at 24 and 8 24 and 8 unreal so let's go over the uh the games from last week the so let's look at week eight the week eight recap uh the first games were played on uh saturday april 8th and the first of those was the vipers visiting the Battle Hawks. The Battle Hawks won this game 21 17. Again, close game within one score. And then the second game was the Renegades at the Guardians. The Guardians still only have one win, and that is against my defenders. And uh, but they it was a close game. They lost 18 to 16. Two point decision right there. And it was in overtime. I believe that one was in overtime. Um, and then on Sunday, April 9th, you had the Roughnecks visiting the Brahmas. And they pulled that one out 17-15. And I believe that one was also an overtime game. And then you had my defenders barely hanging on and winning 34-33. So that was last week. And with that, I want to look at the standings right now. Yeah, we're going to switch to the standings. So here you got the North Division and the South Division. And you got, oh wait, what happened there? All right, so now you got DC is on top of, yeah, this is really worse. All right, let me, let me, put there you go. Um, you got DC on top of that division, seven and one. The defenders have locked up a playoff berth. The second team to make it will probably be either Seattle or St. Louis. Right now, St. Louis is a little bit in the driver's seat on that one. 
uh, with a one-game lead on them, but there is two to play. There's still two games left to play. So it could go to either one of them. And then in the South Division, you've got the uh, Houston Roughnecks, and they have locked up a playoff berth. The second team from that division will be either Arlington or San Antonio, although San Antonio has an uphill battle to catch uh, Arlington. So it's my guess is it's going to be Arlington. Now, the two teams that have been eliminated this past week, the Vipers. <laughs> they are 2-6 and six on the year. They cannot go to the playoffs. And the Orlando Guardians. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. It's at 1-7. and seven. Shocker. I mean, I think they weren't going to the playoffs like five weeks ago. But uh, that is where you got for the standing. So now, with that, let's go uh, look at week nine. Because that's what you want. You want my week nine picks. The first uh, two games will be on Saturday, April 15th. And that will be the, uh, the first one will be the Vipers at the Roughnecks. In this one... No shocker, I'm going to take the Roughnecks at home. I mean, they're at home. They've got a chance to go to the playoffs. The Vipers don't, and the Vipers aren't that good anyway. And then the 7 o'clock game is going to be the Guardians at the Brahmas. You know what? In this one, even though the Brahmas are at home, I'm going to go with the Guardians. That's right. I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb and take the 1-7 Guardians on the road in that one. The next one you got is the Renegades at the Defenders. I mean, you know, I'm a Defenders fan. I love the Defenders. The Defenders are 7-1. and one. They're at home. I got to go with the Defenders in this one. And then you got the Sea Dragons at the Battlehawks. Now, this one is going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle against the Battlehawks. But I am going to, you know, ah, you know what? I'm going with the Sea Dragons. I'm going to take the Sea Dragons on the road at the Battlehawks. So let's recap my picks for week nine coming up. I've got the Roughnecks beating the Vipers. I got the Guardians on the road beating the Brahmas. I've got the uh, Defenders at home staving off the Renegades who are fighting for a playoff spot. And then I've got the Sea Dragons on the road in Seattle beating the Battlehawks. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the season? What do you think of my picks? Are you loving them? Because, you know, I am. So, uh, yeah, but leave a comment below. Let me know who you got this week in the, uh, the XFL games. And uh, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.